Hello everyone, today we will be combining functions. So we are given k of x and m of x. Our task is to determine, the, for the first one, we find t of x. t of x is equal to k of x plus m of x. So what are we going to do is we're going to write what k of x is equal to. So in here, we have um, 7x squared minus 5x plus 1 that is the k of x. Then we're going to add the m of x. m of x here is 3x minus 2. And so from here, we are going to distribute the positive to each term inside the parentheses. And this would come out to be 7x squared minus 5x plus 1 plus 3x minus 2. And then from here, we're going to combine like terms. So 7x squared is just by itself, so we can go ahead and write 7x squared, and then we combine like terms. We have negative 5x and, so negative 5x plus 3x is a negative 2x. And then we have a constant, we have um, positive 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. And so this is the uh, value for t of x, because t of x is k of x plus m of x. At this time, I would encourage you to uh, pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we have p of x is equal to k of x subtract m of x to it. So in this case here, we pretty much do the same thing right here. So k of x is 7x squared minus 5x plus 1 minus, then we write the m of x, which is 3x minus 2. And so from here, we are going to distribute the negative to each term inside the parentheses. This would come out 7x squared minus 5x plus 1 minus 3x, because the negative and a positive is a negative. Negative and a negative multiplied together would be a positive, so that's a positive 2. And then we combine like terms, we only have 1, 7x squared, so we write that first. We combine the x's, so that's negative 5x minus 3x is a negative 8x. And then write the constant, that would be 1 plus 2 is 3. So that would be um, 7x squared minus 8x plus 3 is our p of x. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we uh, we do the other way around. Cause others are going to think, like, oh, they're just the same with the first one. They are not the same because um, we have, again, we have the k of x and the m of x here. So I'm going to write the m of x first. So that would be um, 3x minus 2 minus the k of x is 7x squared minus 5x plus 1. And so from here, we distribute the negative to each term inside the parentheses. So after we distribute the uh, negative, this would come out 3x minus 2. Negative and a positive would be a negative. So negative 7x squared. Negative times negative is a positive 5x. Negative and positive is a negative negative. 1. And then from here, we combine like terms. We only have 1. 7x squared is a negative 7x squared. So we're done with, an, uh, with this uh, term right here. So we combine the other terms. We have 3x plus 5x is 8x. So that is plus 8x. And then we combine the constant. So negative 2 minus 1 is a negative 3. So that's a negative 3 right here. So this is our b of x. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. So we have um, e of x is equal to 2 times the k of x. So our k of x is um, it's up there. So that is 7x squared minus 5x plus 1. So we're going to use the distributive property so that 2 will be distributed to each term inside the parentheses. So this would come out to be 
2 times 7x squared is 14x squared. 2 times negative 5x is negative 10x. And then 2 times uh, positive 1 is a positive 2. And this is our e of x. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the last example that we have here. So this time around, we already did uh, addition and subtraction. So let's have multiplication. So we wanted to find for g of x, and that is the product of m of x and k of x. So our m of x is 3x minus 2, and then multiply it by 7x squared minus 5x plus 1. And so we are going to use the area model for this to um, multiply these two. So the dimension of the box that we're going to use would be a 3, 1, 2, 3, by 2. So it's going to be 3 columns and 2 rows. You can have also 2 columns and 3 rows. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to write the 7x squared minus 5x and then 1 here. And then on the other side is the m of x. 3x minus 2. And then we are going to multiply these two together. So that would be 21x cu cubed here. Because you have an x and x squared. So that's x cubed. This is negative 14x squared. Because you have a 7 times negative 2. And then this is a negative 15x squared. And this one right here is a uh, positive 10x and this is 3x, and this is a negative 2. Okay, so we are going to combine like terms. So th uh, the diagonals are actually like terms here. So these two are like terms, and these two are also like terms. So then we go ahead and write this as 21x cubed. That's just by itself. So negative 14x squared minus 15x squared is negative 29x squared. And then 10x plus 3x is 13x. So that's 13x. And then you have a minus 2 at the end. And this is our g of x, the product of k of x and m of x. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!